He's moving. It's rolling. If you'll go ahead and, and give us your name and title, please. Yes, I'm Bob Jacob. I'm the director of the Institute of Police Technology and Management located at the University of North Florida. Great. And first of all, tell us a little bit about the conference and what brings us here today to Reynolds Park. Right. This is our 29th annual Special Problems in Traffic Crash Reconstruction. And, and in our, in our all of these officers are from they're from 26 different states and four countries. Mm. They, they meet with us annually to, to uh, review crash. As you can see, sure. we actually crash vehicles. Uh, we just rolled the vehicle, and we have one that uh, two motorcycle crashes. Absolutely. And tell us what is, why is it important that they're able to see the crash when it happens? They're, that way, they can, they can from this they gather the data. Once the crash occurs, then they can go and look at any part of this crash that they want to to see what caused a certain mm -hmm. thing to happen or why it happened and then and continue the investigation. So many times when a police officer investigates a crash, it's after it. And they really didn't, you know, they have to really look to gather data and look for the, the gouges in the street and things like that. Mm -hmm. So this gives them a new perspective then that they wouldn't normally have. Totally. That's, that's great. Yes. Will you tell us a little bit about the crash team? Some of the people we see out here in yellow, what is yeah. their role today? Their role, they've been here two weeks and they've come out here and practiced uh, these things so we, they have a pretty good idea of work. That most of them have a law enforcement background with engineering degrees. So they're not just, uh, not just cops. We've got people here from uh, the University of Tulsa some of them are involved with the actual construction of the ramp that you see here. Mm -hmm. uh, they understand the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't notice before. Crash investigation has come a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said earlier, I'm an old sergeant from the Virginia State Police and we really didn't get involved with this uh, yeah. back then. Right. And to the average person, tell us why it's important that it, that crashes be investigated properly. They must be investigated properly so that we can gather data to try and prevent future crashes that occur uh, in similar situations. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of times it seems as though it's a waste and, and now with these during these economic times it's it's important for the administrators in these agencies to allow their police officers to properly conduct a crash investigation right right yeah. and obviously part of knowing uh, who's at knowing fault who's and, at fault mm -hmm. and when there may be engineering problems. A lot of times crashes occur because of engineering problems. Uh, the, the sun may be uh, reflecting off of a traffic signal that makes them think that the light is green when it's actually red, depending. You know. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did are you a lot of something? these folks out here investigators? Most of them are traffic crash investigators or engineers that work and have their own companies. A lot of, we have several engineers here that are hired by attorneys that handle traffic cases, mm -hmm. and uh, they they have uh, they have the experience, the expertise. The engineers understand uh, the formulas and the figures, but they they come here to be able to translate that or to relate it to a traffic crash. Okay, very good, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.